You are such a f <laughs> How would you dare <laughs> do this to me? What? Are you kidding me? You know what? It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Big Boy's hey, Neighborhood. Boy. Don't try to leave. I'm going oh, okay. I'm going Mark Wahlberg in the neighborhood, man. Tell it like it is. All righty. Now, I'm going to hand you two faces. Okay. One is Kevin Hart. Oh, shit. That you, that you currently have a movie oh, with called Me Time. Oh, and, of course, Will Ferrell. Oh, man. man. And you Multiple and Will, movies. You're talking about, seriously, honestly, Two of the nicest and funniest people. You know, oh, yeah. You know a lot of comics, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You know sir. a lot of comics are not what they appear to be. Some right. people have some darkness. Right. They, they get a little moody mm -hmm. and all that. These guys, they genuinely like to make people. Yeah. And with, and with make people laugh. And, and I love just, these just guys. Just tell it like it is. Who would you take to game seven of an NBA Finals? <sighs> what? <laughs> <laughs> would you take Kevin Hart or would you take Will Ferrell? Who do you take to game seven? I don't think I've ever been asked a more difficult question. Really? You, Seriously. You like, got to consider, too, like, the who do you want to sit next to the whole time? Right. Who's going to share the food? Yeah. Who's going to have, probably have more people come up to him? You know, just, just, just think about everything. Well. Tell it like it is. I, I really, I, I, I cannot answer that question. I would, I would want to go. I would let them go together. No, nah, they, they don't want to go together. You got two Come tickets, on. Mark Wahlberg. Who do you take to Game Seven of the NBA Finals? Right. Kevin Hart or Will Ferrell? All right, Will, you come with me for the first half, right? Kevin, <laughs> All right. you meet me for the second. Let me see half. that face. Let me All see right, that face. so 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 you're trying to switch it up. Yeah. All right. So so why why does Kevin get the second half when that's more of the like the intro? Why would we go there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, you just really it, trying it, to, man. You're trying right. to do me dirty. Tell it like it I'm is. Like, oh, come on, big. Two man relay race. Who do you partner with? Oh, Will's Kevin Hart or Will Ferrell? Will's a little slower. We right. used to, we used to go. We were, we were. He shooting. did street down the street naked. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Frank the Tank. Both fearless. So we were shooting, uh, Daddy's home in Louisiana, and I was going <laughs> to. I was going to every day. I was going to work out, and then I was playing full court basketball. But I tell Will to come play ball with me, but he didn't realize it's just two on two full court, and oh just to God. get the cardio, running up and down. And I'm running. <laughs> He's a little slower than Kevin. So right. gonna... <laughs> Kevin Hart. All right, now if you had a remote and you could mute Kevin Hart or Will Ferrell for thirty minutes, who would you mute? Kevin. Wow. Just I can't believe I it. Back, 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 back. All right. Now, Mark. Back, back, back. No, no, no. The, he does not stop. I mean, the energy is fucking. And, and you know what's crazy? He goes so hard. And then, but when he's down, right. he don't want to hear shit either. Oh, wow. And like, that's when I come up. Yeah. I got to wait it. I had to wear him down. <laughs> tell it like it is. All righty now. Kevin Hart, Will Ferrell. Tell it like money. it is. All righty. Who do you take on a guy? getaway weekend like it's just y'all you're fishing you know you're spending time with this person who oh, do you take oh man you know i just had this amazing dinner with will in london he was there he was shooting the barbie movie and i was like we went to this private like supper club and it was like just me and him and man we had a nice time and i wasn't i wasn't drinking that. Right. it was like it was, <laughs> it was just us just chatting and talking and uh wow you're talking about two very, very special people. Here. Yeah, that's why we did this. Very special people. <laughs> yeah, to me. And and this one is hair, and Kevin's hair, especially when they paint it. Right. They get it. Oh, oh. Man, when they paint it, when, when they hit it with that Beijing or yeah, that black, huh? he got that shit, man. Yeah. I said, whoa, whoa, you missed a spot on the back. <laughs> Forever young. I heard that. <laughs> So who goes on the weekend and getaway? Will got the Moroccan. Right. Well, <laughs> Will's a little more tame. I'm going turning up with there Kevin. There it is, Kevin Hart. I'm going to do it till the, till the, till the hair comes out. All right. Color. I think I know the answer to this one, being that you already answered this, and I know Kevin Hart's lifestyle. Tell it like it is. Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart, who would show you something new in the gym? Oh, they both avoid me like the bubonic plague really? in the gym. I couldn't get Kevin because to work Kevin, out. Because Kevin, we we just trained. Kevin seemed like a workout beast. I know. He thought I was. I don't. I think personally, he's mentioned it in interviews and stuff that I'm gonna like try to like 
you know, push them beyond. I, I don't do that. That's I like crazy. everybody into their comfort zone. I just encourage people like we go and support each other and it's all good. Man, do you know Willie McGinnis? Of course. I made what? the error of working out with Willie McGinnis. <laughs> the error. Yeah, Willie McGinnis. Hmm. And I'm going to tell you, bro. You're talking about 55, right? Yes. I almost big, big, died. Big, 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 big things. I almost died working out with him. Yeah, well. And he kept it very light. Mm. And at one point, man, it was a machine. He, you know, universal weight. Yeah. Put the weight in. I'm thinking, okay, it's cool. And he's standing up. And he keys the weight. And he's like, all right, big, you know, just stand like this. Grab it with one hand and just pull it towards you. Pull it towards you. Mm. Just pull it towards you. Little and he did ball. this. And then he did like this and handed it to me. Oh, and it just snapped back on you. Man, you, it brought the smooth bitch out in me, bro. I'm talking about, man, I fell all into the equipment. I looked around to see if anybody had, had peeped this out. And then I remember, Mark, I went outside with my wife and I said, baby, I said, I'm glad you weren't in there. I said, I will never do that again. Never do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, he brought, he brought all... Oh. Out of me. First, All right. He's, he's one of the greats. Oh, yeah. And tell it like it is. Who's funnier? You are such a fuck. <laughs> How would you dare fucking do this to me? What? Are you kidding me? You know what? It's different. <laughs> 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 like, hey man, he really now like, damn, Hold why on. did I come in? Because he wouldn't have did this on Zoom. He wouldn't have did this on Zoom. He's like, man, oh man. I gotta tell you, um, I you, they, they are so close. They're, mm-hmm. they're just different, but so close. It's like I don't know the the fact that both of them comes their humor comes from such a nice place right they just want to make people laugh you know and they just want to make people laugh and um tie their up, gift man, bro tie them up they're together yeah they're <laughs> <laughs> tell it like it is man with even mark kevin, Wahlberg. y'all stick like, around y'all even ready? kevin you know he's so sweet he's like don't kiss me on my forehead kiss me on the mouth yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't man. stick your tongue in my mouth. I love you, baby. How you know I love you? When you work with somebody like Kev, does it feel like work when you work with Kevin Hart or Will Ferrell? Oh my God! You know, no, it, it it's it's such a great experience because you can kind of shoot what's on the page right. and do this. You know, every time we work together, we've had great material. But then we also we are the, we become the part. So we're trying and improvising and doing stuff, and you know, you I just feel. So comfortable and safe with them. Like I didn't, I never did a comedy wow. really before. I did um, the movie with uh, with um, Steve Carell and Tina Fey, Date Night. I did mm-hmm. a small part in that, which was comedy. But the first one was was with Will um, and Adam McKay, uh, the other guys. And I was like, I just done the fighter, and then I came right from the fighter to this movie. And I I hadn't read the script before I committed to making the movie because I met with lots of comedy guys and we were always like, okay, I've done comedic elements and performances before, but it's like, got to do a real comedy. So I met with a lot of people. I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I met with Will and Adam. We had dinner. I was with these guys for five minutes. I said, I'm in. They right. go, in what? I goes, whatever movie you want to do. <laughs> yeah, they said, Sign we haven't told up. you the idea yet. I said, well, tell me, but I don't give a shit. I want to work with you guys. It's just energy, right? Just intuitively, I was like, I got to be with these guys. And then they told me the part. I said, absolutely, no problem. And then they they kept encouraging me to just go get, get crazy and be loose and try stuff and be fearless. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do that to you guys. Cause once I go there, I don't, right. I don't stop and you'll, <laughs> you'll regret back. it eventually. Right? <laughs> right. And they just, no, never all the stuff with me and will with the tuna and the lion, oh and all God. this shit, just all just playing Adam <laughs> McKay spitting out these gems from the director's chair. And it was like, Oh my God, change, is it, change is it- me. Harder being funny or serious for you as an actor? I always do the same thing. I just try to make it real. I mm. commit. I believe Ted is right here. We're smoking. We're blowing trees. We're watching this and we're doing that. Like I just mm-hmm. believe it. You got to believe it. To, if, if you don't believe it, you're not going to convince an audience. Yeah. So Tell it like it is. Mark Wahlberg in the neighborhood. Big Boy's Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs>